As a student of Famous Artist School, you'll receive one-on-one -on -one instruction from your own personal artist instructor. Here's head instructor Hank McLaughlin as he critiques one of his students' assignments. One of our students, John, sent in a painting of a still life, uh, which was required. You want to see if they can get the idea of the students of solid uh, form. And while he has a good sense of solid form, the light side and the shadow side are well-defined. Direction of light is strong. You can tell the light in his painting. There's no question it's coming from the upper left. Uh, some of these hard edges want to be softened. Uh, you get a better sense of form, uh, even better than he has achieved, when you soften those edges. And you want to uh, soften the back edge of something like a table. You want to put it out of focus so that it puts the center of interest in focus. With a tissue, I'm going to first suggest an adjustment. Now, after making this uh, little pencil adjustment to the composition, I placed it underneath an acetate overlay. This acetate overlay is very valuable because it allows me to make changes directly over the student's painting without hurting their painting. Now, here's our finished overlay I prepared. Uh, over John's painting. Now the advantage certainly is that he can lift this overlay and compare it to his painting to see the suggestions I've made. Uh, his uh, green vase is okay, but the green vase next to the green pear and the two apples alongside each other and the yellow one over to the uh, left, uh, I, I shifted uh, in my pencil uh, suggestion. And now over the painted overlay, I'm going to lay a tissue and indicate some of the comments that uh, I'd like to make. He, for instance, John has indicated a good sense of solid form. And then uh, I would suggest uh, adding a uh, plant for decorative height. It adds to the composition uh, in a very pleasant way. It's an, for, um, above these very heavy, solid, objects of the solid form of the table, the fruit, the vase. There's that very lacy pattern above, but it uh, is not going to make the composition top heavy. Change to blue for a variety of color. New arrangement of fruit down here. I've rearranged to keep things from being lined up too much. Uh, put the yellow one over here. Uh, one thing I wanted to take care to do to make sure that there was more space on one side of this yellow one than the other so it isn't dead center itself. So not to be off by much. Uh, one other thing, I, I tilted, uh, tilted the table to add to the design. And I lost the front table edge. Okay, that wasn't contrib uh, contributing anything here, but this long rectangle that tended to be a little distracting. When you have objects near each other, especially if they have any bit of shine at all to them, you'll find sometimes an object will reflect into a glazed surface. There's a little green from the pear. There's a little gold from the tabletop. Helps things look related to each other. And cast shadows, when they extend, as they lengthen, they tend to lighten and their edges blur. This is the nature of cast shadows. They tend to be darkest right under the object creating them and as they extend they lighten and their edges go out of focus. That helps the effect appear to be more natural and based on reality. In addition to uh, all we've done here, uh, John is also going to receive a letter with a more lengthy explanation of the adjustments I suggested we often suggest the students go back and refer to previous lessons and uh, we'll find it will benefit something in the future. So it's all uh, good meat for good painting. To get started now on your own Famous Artists course, just click Enroll Now.